Welcome back, YouTube. This is Bushcraft Evolution, and here's Haley, who's been- Hi, welcome back. She's been gone for a while. She wanted to be back and be a part of this video. In this video, I'm going to be doing a gear loadout, or one possible gear loadout for the Blackbird Haversack and Knapsack combo that Blackie Thomas has put out. And without further ado, we're gonna lay down a ground cloth, and we're gonna get into it. And I'm just going to show you what I have in each one of the haversacks and the knapsack itself. So stay tuned. Okay, now we're going to get into what I put in the top haversack. Yes, don't forget to smack it. Inside the knapsack itself and the original Blackbird here on the back. In the first haversack we have in our top pouch here. This is going to be all the essential items that you're going to need, you know, maybe uh, right off the top, you know, you need your ridge line in order to set up a shelter. Um, you have uh, fire starting here at the top. This is uh, one of the ferro rods that I created a handle for. Um, eating utensil, because if you're out, whether you're hiking, bushcrafting, camping, doing whatever, you're going to need some way to um, eat. You have to excuse background noise. We're not very far from a busy road, and um, as you can see, the sun is setting. So I'm kind of hiding behind a tree here, and there's lots of road noise. So we'll get into this top haversack, and I have a fire kit that I put together. And inside here we have everything you need to make a fire. We've got some uh, zip fire starters here. Um, we have a bellows, matches, um, tinder. We have uh, several other things in there to start fires. Um, that's not necessarily what you have to have on top or readily available. When you first got into the woods, I'm just showing you the possibilities of what you could pack into this. This isn't what you have to do. This is not saying that this is the right way to do things. This is just one of the many ways that you can do it. I'm just giving you an idea of how you can pack one of these. We have an, uh, an O-Light for, you know, when it gets dark. Why else do you need a light? We have a headlamp. You have to have a headlamp also for when it's dark. And then instead of carrying a pillow when I go camping, I actually have a neck pillow because I like to hammock camp a lot. So with this inflated and you being back on the hammock itself, this is perfect. Your head doesn't fall back. It's just perfect shape, perfect size, and it's super, super soft. And it's inflatable, so it packs up real small and nobody knows that you even have it. Next thing I put in here is a notepad. I have this notepad here that uh, I use to write ideas, you know, for videos or inspirational type stuff. 
just another thing to throw in the bag and we'll jump into let's go ahead and do the other haversack and we'll show you what I did to that flip it all the way over and the first thing that you're going to need when you go camping bushcrafting whatever you need some sort of a shelter so inside this one this is what I meant in my first video when I said you could just pack something small in it something that would go get you back and it wouldn't hurt it'd actually be comfortable I stuck in an emergency shelter so it still lays flat and you can keep it on the backpack that we created so that's what I keep in the big main pouch and then in the zipper on this one we have just a big shemog we have a big orange shemog multiple purposes you can use this for signaling uh, making char cloth wiping sweat off your eyebrows uh, uh, picking up hot pots whatever water filtration anything that's what I keep in this haversack just because it lays flat and it's comfortable so now we'll get into the outside of the knapsack before we get into it on this side over here we have the silky outback edition saw that we just used a couple of paracord ties to strap it to the side because it's got this molly strapping on the side and on this side we just did a small uh hatchet that uh we did the same thing we put a couple of these old ties on here and it holds it in there really really secure and it just gives you more options for things to carry and then on the bottom of course we have our uh, wool sleeping bag or wool, wool blanket sorry and then a bunch of extra cord attached to it for any other reasons you might need cord while you're out and at the top we have our cup our uh, kuska so Sorry, I'm getting through this video pretty quick. We uh, are fighting uh, sunset here. And we're on a new property, and this property you can see has water. Um, lots of game animals out here. Actually, we are sitting on top of a game trail because it was really flat and smooth and perfect place for us to sit down and set up camp for right now to film this. And this is where we plan to do a lot of our bushcraft videos and Haley hasn't been out here before so I brought her out here so we could do some scouting around and uh, she wanted to do this video with me so anyway let's get back to this this believe it or not holds a ton of stuff you're gonna see when I pull this stuff out this thing holds a lot right off the top we have Stanley cook kit you have to have one of these everybody has one of these it's kind of uh, goes hand in hand with bushcraft or camping or whatever so we have that right on the top second and really important is a shelter of some sort this is our one tigress 2.0 bungalow um, we've not used this we've only set it up a couple of times but um we plan to use that a lot out here while we're building a bushcraft shelter we just need a place to stay while we're building that shelter so this fits in there i mean look how tall that is and it's it's not very small it's light but it's not very small and that fits in here we have a sleeping bag that folds down in one of these cinch sacks this was uh from Dick Sporting Goods I got many many years ago it's been a lot of camp outs it's only rated for 50 degrees but it's in here just to show the possibilities of this knapsack we have a climate static V um, sleeping pad that is also not too small but it fits in here last but not least we have because my bag is only rated to 50 degrees if I find myself needing little more layers I have this sleeping bag liner from Walmart it is a slumber jack brand so this will give me an additional probably 10 or 20 degrees of warmth plus my wool blanket so as you can see that's 
everything that we could fit into this bag for this trip and for this show. Um, I'm gonna, I plan to show more, I plan to do more. I wanna do different types of gear loadouts. I wanna do a side-by-side -side with both haversacks and show how much more you could fit in the new haversack versus the old one. Uh, I'll do some more packing of the knapsack and I guess that's just gonna wrap it up for this video. Um, I'd like to thank you for tuning back in for those of you that wanted to see this. And um, I hope you liked it. I hope you found um, some inspiration for when you get your knapsack and you wanna get out here and do some camping. Um, Haley and I plan to do a lot more out here on this property. This property is huge, it's vast. There's opportunities. I mean, we've got this side of the creek, we've got that side of the creek, we've got the creek itself. We've got woods that go back a couple miles behind us. Um, there's just a lot of opportunities out here and we plan to uh, try to get more videos out. So stay tuned for those. And um, I guess that's it for this video. So Haley, do you want to send us out? Get out there. You heard her, get out there. One last thing. Um, we mentioned before in the last video that there's really no way of you know keeping these straps from falling down unless you did your own sternum strap so what i did was take some of that white rope that i had on the um wool blanket and you know just tied a little slip knot on this side with a knot on the end to keep it from coming off but it's adjustable depending on the person and their size but what i did was i stuck a carabiner on this other side and what you could do is just snap it on there and you got a sternum strap to help keep the pack from falling and as you can see it fits comfortable the only thing not in there that i forgot to mention is you know you got to have your knife that's here on the side my bps and uh other than that that's really what we uh wanted to do is get this video out the sun's going down so i need to get this turned off and we'll see you on the next one get out there